He was instantly recognisable and utterly remarkable. The visionary scientist, helpless in his high-tech wheelchair, who nonetheless transformed our view of the universe. While a student, he developed the first signs of motor neurone disease. Gradually, his body shut down till he could communicate only using a computerised voice synthesizer, controlled to start with by hand. It didn't hold him back. I was never actually told that I had only two years to live, but I could see the doctors didn't think my prospects were good. His fame sprang from his book, A Brief History of Time. It sold 10 million copies, but though many bought it, rather fewer actually read it. His theories about time, space and black holes were stupendously difficult for non-specialists to grasp. But he turned out to have a genius for communication. He gave lectures and interviews and became an unlikely celebrity. He even appeared in The Simpsons. I don't like your tone. If you are looking for trouble, you found it. Yeah, just try me, you... Oh! And on an episode of Star Trek, he played poker with Isaac Newton, his predecessor as Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at Cambridge. The day that apple fell on my head was the most momentous day in the history of science. Not the apple story again. His private life was complicated. With his first wife, Jane, he had three children, and she looked after him, until in 1990 he left her for his nurse, Elaine. They eventually married only for claims to emerge that Hawking had been physically abused. Police investigated, but the case was dropped for lack of evidence. The couple later divorced. Too often they are told that these are stupid questions to ask, but this is said by grown-ups who don't know the answers. He never lost his sense of humour, though by the end he could only speak by twitching his cheek to move an infrared beam. I don't have much positive to say about motor neuron disease, but it taught me not to pity myself and to get on with what I still could do. I am happier now than before I developed the condition. If general relativity is correct, then the yes. universe is expanding, yes? Yes. OK, so if you reverse time, then the universe is getting smaller. All right. In 2014, his life was dramatised in The Theory I of Everything, with Eddie Redmayne playing Hawking. To see what happened at the beginning of time itself. Stephen, here you are. <laughs> At Cambridge, they unveiled a statue of him, a rare honour for someone still living. But few did more to transform our understanding of the universe and to overcome personal challenges.